How's everyone doing? Today I'll be doing a Blu-ray update, 12 Blu-rays, and as always, if you've seen these movies, definitely let me know what you think of them as well. And a lot of these ones are ones that I haven't seen yet, so again, I will be doing a proper review, more in depth of each of one of those ones in a future Blu-ray and DVD update, but for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this as like kind of like a mail day. And uh, some really awesome pickups right here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and go into it. And first up, right off the bat, is the new Edition for Gravity, it's the Diamond Lux Edition from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. It comes in a really sweet digipack. I'll go ahead and show you right there. I'm gonna do a proper unboxing for this coming up soon. But I don't know if you can really see the nice glossy sheen on the front cover. It looks beautiful. If you're a collector or a fan of the movie, uh, this looks like something that's definitely worth picking up. I still have to go over the special features though. And I know a lot of people complain that, oh, it's just only a movie you should see in theaters. I think it looks fantastic on home video. So I'm sure this edition is gonna be the, basically the same transfer, but just with more special features on here. I know it has all th uh, three hours of uh, bonus features from the previous release. And it also has a bunch of new features on here as well, including uh, the silent space version, which I still have to check out. And there's a looking to the stars evolution of films and Sanders birthday wish. And uh, the silent space version also has an introduction from Alfonso Cuaron, the director. And let me know what your favorite Alfonso Cuaron film is as well. I've really enjoyed uh, his films over the years, Children of Men. Uh, even Great Expectations, Why Two Mama Tambien, and Gravity. And for me, Gravity is just a visually stunning film, but it also has suspense and drama as well. Uh, really had me on the edge of the seat the whole time. And I'm really excited to check out this edition and other special features on here as well. And then there's Gravity, the human experience as well. I guess they're talking about with former NASA astronauts and things like that. But I really love the look to this. It's a very sleek digipack. If you can see the look of it right there, the, the size compared to a regular Blu-ray it's actually a little bit skinnier. So, very nice, I love the look to that. I can't wait to open this up and check it all out. Again, do a proper unboxing of that coming up soon. Next up, from Mill Creek Home Entertainment is The Wild One with Brando and Lee Marvin, and there's a few other recognizable faces in here as well, I believe. I remember seeing this a bunch when I was younger, really enjoying it. Uh, he's like the leader of a uh, biker gang from the 50s, rebelling, and, uh, what are you rebelling It's What do you got? You know, uh, some classic scenes in here, and I'm looking forward to revisiting this one. It's been a long time since I've seen it, uh, but old school Brando right there, you can't go wrong. And next up from Mill Creek Home Entertainment is uh, The Lady from Shanghai with uh, Rita Hayworth and Orson Welles. Again, this is another one that I remember seeing a long time ago when I was younger, and I have to revisit it. Uh, I think there's, you know, murder going on. There are lots of drama and suspense, but... It's nice to see a lot of these releases finally getting uh, Blu-ray, or a lot of these films getting Blu-ray releases finally. And next up is the first wave of Arrow Video US releases. And they're all Blu-ray DVD combo packs. And first up is Mark of the Devil. Again, this is another one that I saw a long time ago. A lot of these ones are ones that I, I've seen, but I have to revisit them because I've seen tons of films over the years. And I remember this being kind of like a religious cult kind of film. Uh, so I'll be looking forward to rechecking this one out. And it's really nice to see that Arrow has responded to all the outcry of, you know, for people, for them to release Region A, and they finally have, and hopefully that'll be kind of a wave to set for other companies and studios as well to release other regions. So very cool. This is uh, actually Region A and B. And then I'm gonna do, again, properly uh, unboxings for these, for the Arrow ones as well, because they deserve it. And then next up is Day of Anger, which I haven't seen. I haven't seen this one, it's a Western film. And uh, I don't know too much about it, but looking forward to checking it out. It's uh, Region A and B. And also Arrow does uh, reversible artwork, and I love the clear cases. They have booklets, they have disc artwork, they go all out. It's a full package deal with Arrow Video, which is one of the things I appreciate. They have great films, uh, great releases transfer, special feature-wise, the booklet, the, case, the clear case, the reversible artwork, everything's awesome about their releases. Big fan of them as a company. And next up is The Blind Woman's Curse, which I actually have uh, the Region B release. And this is actually uh, Region A, B, and C right here, so Region Free. And this is uh, like a female Yakuzuna uh, film. And I remember, I think there was like a, like a revenge storyline to it as well. Uh, Yakuza, sorry, female Yakuza storyline. But I did talk about this uh, before, the last time I watched this, like a year ago. Uh, one thing I will say though, I don't know if you can notice that there's a hole drilled through there, right through the front. You can see that. Uh, for a lot of these 
companies and studios, they'll put a, like a little hole through the barcode. Like these other ones from Arrow, they don't go through the front cover. You can see the little hole in the barcode. Uh, Mill Creek doesn't do it. A lot of companies don't do it. Uh, Warner Brothers put a little slash through the barcode there. Not a big deal if it's on the back, but when it drills through the back all the way to the front, that's kind of annoying. So kind of disappointed, but it is a review copy. They don't want people to resell them. I get that. Nobody's going to want to really buy that anyways with the, the hole in there, but I didn't plan to resell Arrow. I would never... I love Arrow. I love you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I was kind of disappointed to see the hole in there, but overall, still very pleased to check out these releases and happy that they're finally getting Region A releases, and I'm looking forward to seeing what they release more in the future. I guess it's all going to depend on how these releases do in their first wave, so please, if you're a fan of Arrow Video, support them. Uh, check out the releases. Buy the releases. They have great releases, like I said before, and hopefully they'll see that response from U.S. and Canada, and they'll put out more releases for Region A. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, next up are uh, some, actually I'll show you the last one that I got from Arrow first. This was a check disc. This is what they send out before they have uh, uh, finished material right here, pre-production. And this is again for, uh, this is region free, it's for uh, Massacre Gun, which I haven't seen. I'm assuming it's lots of uh, shooting going on. So I don't know too much about this one, I'll be watching this one soon. And uh, next up are ones that I bought off of Amazon. I uh, picked up a couple of Criterions, uh, Nicholas Rogue's uh, Don't Look Now. This is one I haven't seen in a long time, but I always remember the ending. That ending stuck out for me, very creepy, and Donald Sutherland was great in here as well. Uh, can't wait to revisit this one. A ton of special features on here. So very souped for that. And next up is uh, The Vanishing. I remember watching this a long time ago as well. I can't remember, but it's been a while. But I remember loving this. And I think this was remade in America as well. But the remake, I actually remember enjoying, but not being anywhere near as good as the original right here. Uh, so looking forward to checking this one out again, too. I remember uh, being a lot of uh, suspense and drama in here. And next up from David Fincher is Gone Girl. This is a really nice addition. Uh, it seems like David Fincher is getting a great deal with all his uh, releases with uh, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo remake and Social Network. Their packaging design for his uh, films are excellent. And uh, this was a just a very engrossing film. I was engaged from the first moment. My only gripe about this is the interaction uh, when shown in flashbacks when they first met. It felt very robotic and just kind of cold and unnatural uh, the way that they're going back and forth especially her acting but the whole time she was kind of cold and I really I think she did a good job in that role even though it was kind of like emotionless the whole time uh, but it kind of reminded me of our generation's basic instinct or fatal attraction essentially uh, really great performances all the way around um, I was uh, really impressed by this one and let me know what your favorite David Fincher film is I'm not a big fan of some of his more popular recent ones like Social Network or uh, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo remake which I think is far inferior to the original uh, I'll always be a fan of his earlier work Seven and Fight Club but I really did enjoy uh, Gone Girl right here and it's good to see Bruce, uh, Bruce, I was going to say Bruce Wayne, because he's going to play Bruce Wayne, Ben Affleck, uh, playing these roles now that are uh, giving him more esteem as an actor. People just seem to, once he was cast as Batman, like, oh, he's horrible, blah, 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 blah. Come on, he's grown as an actor. He's a fantastic director and actor now. Uh, next up was one right here, uh, Sons of the City of New York, which I got, this was like $3.99. And I'm a big basketball fan, and I lived in New York for a long time, and I'm a big Bernard King fan as well. But uh, this is just a feature about players that came from New York, uh, Chris Mullen, Connie Hawkins, Bob Cousy, a bunch of great players on here. So uh, Dolph Shays too, old school, Tiny Archibald. So looking forward to checking this one out. And last but not least is a horror movie that I've been meaning to see for a long time. It's an Amazon exclusive Blu-ray for Housebound, and I've heard nothing but rave reviews for it, so I'm really looking forward to it. It looked creepy from the trailers. I'm not sure if there's comedic mix in here as well. Uh, it looked like there was a comedic moment in the trailer, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. I've heard a lot of uh, positivity for it, so had to pick it up. Blind buy for me. I don't do many blind buys anymore, but that was one of them right there. So I'm going to go ahead and flip these over. And again, like I said, if you've seen any of them, definitely let me know what you think, especially since a lot of these ones that I have seen, it's been a long time. Uh, so I'm looking forward to revisiting them, and I did do a blind buy. In the Sons of uh, New York, the basketball um, film right there, I think I did see that a long time ago, too, on TV. I don't know if it was ESPN or something like that. But there's the stack right there. I'm going to go ahead and try to get down here and do the thumbnail face. 
Really excited for the Arrow Video Blu-rays and this Gravity Edition looks super sweet. I know a lot of people are saying, oh, is it worth getting it again? Right now, it appears like it might be the definitive edition for Gravity because of the new special features and the packaging design and the fact that it has all the old special features. So that is a big plus if you're a fan of the movie. And I do think it is uh, visually stunning on home video as well. But let's do the thumbnail face. <laughs> there it is. Where did these come from? Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> but again, let me know if you've seen any of these movies. And I'll do proper unboxings for a few of these ones coming up soon. And I hope everybody's doing well. Take care.